Cleveland's playing Spurs tonight. They, uh, it was a perfect storm for them. They made a lot of shots. They got to the rim. Um, AD, the AD pick and roll was tough to stop tonight. Um, I like how we fought. They got back into the game in the third quarter. We had a chance to win. Um, but they made more shots down the stretch than us. That was just plain and simple. Did you, guys, you feel that you guys had to, A, you guys had to expend so much energy to get back into it at the end of the third quarter? That could cost you in the fourth, or was that just more their size wearing you down? The yeah, that's, and yeah, I mean, that one play, that side pick and roll really got them going. Um, there was a, uh, Reeves and, and, and uh, Lonnie Walker was able to get down here on that side pick and roll. That was tough to stop. And that, that's what that's really was the game, you know, that play right there. So, um, you know, we tried to make a few adjustments on it, but they did a good job of just exploiting that play. And um, that gave them confidence on both ends of the floor. And then, you know, everybody's going to muck it up on us, double, just throw, you know, deny me and just throw some wrinkles in the game on the defensive side of the ball. So if they're making shots, they, they'll feel more comfortable on the defensive side. Davis hasn't had a, a night like tonight in a long time. Did you, uh, have you seen uh, any different to you? Like, uh, a mission there without LeBron? Nah, AD's been like, I mean, when well, AD has a bad game, it's just, you know, I don't look at it as nothing serious because he can come out and do this at any given time. So regardless if it's LeBron out there, Russ, if it's Drew Holiday, any of the teammates he ever had in his career, this is who he is. So, like, regardless of a bad game or a bad stretch, it doesn't matter to him. He's an all-time great. Kevin, LeBron was really doubtful in that game. You haven't played against him now, I think, since Christmas 2018. Is that kind of wild to you, just giving him the, the long layoff? I mean, I wasn't thinking about it until y'all start bringing it up. Um, you know, he's obviously top two player to ever play, top three player to ever play the game. So there's always going to be excitement when he steps on the floor. And um, we've been around for so long that people have seen so many battles between us two at the highest stage, uh, you know, that people look forward to it. So um, I guess it's cool that we're still relevant at an older age and <laughs> people want to come watch us play. Did you get to talk to him at all? No, nah, I, I ain't rap with him. Um, we text here and there, like, every once in a while, but... I ain't gonna talk to him tonight. Is it a bummer at all for you when you play the Lakers and he's not on the court? Nah. Nah, I mean, tonight they played great without him, but like, usually he's the load to deal with. So, um, we needed wins lately. So, you know, the, to have him off the floor is supposed to have been an easier game, but they played great tonight. Kevin, uh, you know, obviously the, the three point shooting, I mean, how much did, did you like the looks you guys were getting and how much of that was just really missing guys like Seth? And uh, I mean, we, we got some good shots. I feel like uh, we got some wide open looks that were in and out from a lot of guys. Um, and you just got to live with that stuff, to be honest. You know, as a few, long, like I said yesterday, as long as we generating good looks, and I think we got a lot of corner threes that went in and out that could have cut the lead or um, gave us some momentum, but they just didn't go in. But, you know, that's the name of the game, you know, so you got to go back down there and defend. And we just defended in Spurs tonight. We didn't do it for a whole stretch, and they got hot. And was able to pull away from us. I think after you hit that second three, I think you did you, mo you motion toward the Lakers bench. What? That, I think it was that 16 3 run. What did I do? Uh, I think Oh, they kept screaming that when I was walking up the ball at the court, Pat Bev, the whole bench. You know, they coach they, they players up every time I get the ball at all game. <laughs> Everybody. So Pat Bev and about four or five of their guys like, get up, get up. And then he didn't get up, so I shot it. And then they was just all so pissed, you know, so. It's uh, it's funny when the, the whole team coaching up my possessions on, on defense. <laughs> uh, I think it's cute. Uh, it shows a lot. It shows they got a lot of respect for my game. Uh, so I, it was it was that moment was cool right there because he didn't follow the scout report and I was able to knock down the shot. You enjoy that, like those, those types of interactions. Say it again. It seems, I mean, it just seems like you're playing with those moments, like the joy. You enjoy that at a different level. Yeah, I mean, when. A whole team is focused on you that much. I mean, it's good to have that kind of mind power over some people sometimes, you know. So when I'm coming up the floor, the whole team is focused on me, get the other guys going. And then when I hit a shot, there's almost like a, a, a backbreaker for them. So I can tell those two threes really hurt them. And, uh, you know, they try to make adjustments if, if I make a shot uh, as, the time, as the game goes on. So it's a, it's a nice little mental game you playing with coaches and teams because it's more than just the one-on-one -on -one defender. It's, it's a... The defensive coordinator over there, the, the, you know, so everybody's talking. So it's, it's good for me. It's better for me to, 
you know, it's, it's helping my IQ when you when you focus on the whole team like that. Kevin, on that note, what do you also enjoy about the moments when Russ tries to defend you? Try to defend me? Yeah. He's just going to hack me the whole time. You know? <laughs> Uh, but uh, more than anything, um, to see the role Russ playing right now, I mean, he's just affecting the game in so, so many different ways. Um, 12 assists tonight, four turnovers, 14 points. Like, he came in there and put his imprint on the game. So it was always fun playing against him. Um, regardless of what setting it is, it's always been like that between us.